Every single year without fail, the end of the year holiday season is the most profitable time in my print on demand business. But I have spent so much time really creating a huge catalog of amazing holiday designs that have now become bestsellers that sell every single year. Now, if you really want to help your print on demand business really take off and start making real income, Q4 and holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas are really the times to go all in and create some designs that are going to be able to sell year after year. But it's not as simple as just making a Merry Christmas t-shirt or sweatshirt and putting it up on Etsy and waiting for sales to roll in. There's a lot of stuff you have to think about. And one of the most tricky things is how to find a good niche for a holiday that is not too saturated. So today I'm actually partnering with Placeit and I am going to show you the whole process of what I do to find a good niche to actually make a design that's going to get clicks and sales, making fantastic mock-ups to help show that off so people actually convert and buy your items and then uploading that to the product of your choice. Now today I'm going to be working on a sweatshirt design to sell a holiday themed sweatshirt but you can apply this exact same principle for any item you want to sell be that mugs, ornaments, totes, t-shirts, whatever print on demand item you can do these similar steps. So let's not waste any more time and just jump right into finding a good niche that we could target target for this holiday season. Now, like I mentioned, I see a lot of new sellers really wanting to break into these holiday niches. And so they start by making stuff that is very generic. So maybe they want to sell a t-shirt and it just says Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. Now those kind of items do sell, but if you make something like that and put it on a place like Etsy or Amazon, you are going to be competing with hundreds of thousands of other sellers who have similar items to you. So it's really important to find a way that you can stand out and make something a little bit more specific in a niche like Christmas. So today I'm going to be targeting the end of the year holiday Christmas, but I want to put a little bit of a twist on it and make it for a more specific population. The more specific you can get in print on demand, the more profitable you are going to be. So I am starting off in my cross niching guidebook. Now, if you have never downloaded this before, I made a completely free resource for you guys. It's basically a guidebook that helps you to find very specific niches that have a lot less competition. Now I have an entire hour long free workshop of how to get started using this, but we're just going to begin here using one of my favorite methods to find great new bestsellers for my print on demand business. So basically all you do to use this guide is you are going to cross two categories, specifically something like a holiday with something like a career or a hobby, maybe a pet. So for example, if we were thinking about the Christmas holiday, you could cross that with a dentist, a nurse, a pharmacist, a teacher, and already have a way more specific design than if you say just went for Christmas or maybe just went for the niche of dentists. So anything we can do to kind of combine a couple really good niches a lot of times helps us to stand out. So today I think that I want to maybe focus on stuff like hobbies. Anything people are passionate about makes a great gift around the holiday season. So I like to stick with things like people's careers and people's hobbies to really have the most potential of capturing a lot of sales. So let's scroll down to the hobby category of this guide here. Now there are so many different hobbies. We have reading, writing, drawing, gardening, cooking, baking, woodworking, sculpting, coin collecting. Now all of those are fantastic, but I also have been doing a little bit of preliminary research on Amazon and Etsy. And I've seen that the kind of the cabin or camping niche has been doing especially well. So I thought that we could take the hobby of camping and kind of put a Christmas twist on it to appeal to both of those really popular niches right now. So that is the niche we are going to be going for. Now the next step in our process is going to be making our design. Now I know for many of you designing is the part of the print on demand process that maybe feels the most tedious and the most difficult. If you didn't come from a design background that does not mean you can't be successful as a print on demand seller, but there's definitely a few tricks that you should know about to be able to make designs that people actually want to click on and buy. You can have the best niche in the world, the best title and description, but if your design is just so-so, a lot of times people are going to pass yours up for something that's a little bit more appealing. So I'm super excited because I partnered with Placeit today. Now Placeit you guys have heard me talk about all the time because I always make my mock-ups with them, but one thing that I also love is they have a huge catalog of premium 
pre-made print on demand templates that you can kind of just plug and play your niche, change a few elements, and you have a completely ready to use design. So I'm going to go over to their design section and see if I can find anything in this camping or Christmas niche that could really work well for what I want to do. So I'm going to go over to the categories here and click on designs. And I'm just going to go ahead and I think start with looking for the niche camping. Now they have a ton of awesome ready to go sweatshirt or t-shirt templates. And all of these aren't really Christmas right now, but we can add a few additional elements to this to make this a little bit more Christmassy. And what I was thinking of doing is maybe going with something like the phrase Merry Campmas or Merry Camping, something that kind of plays on that Christmas theme. So let's scroll through these here and see if there's anything that really could work for this. Now I'm kind of liking this style right here where it has the tree. And I think something that could be really fun is maybe adding like a star to this and making it almost look like a Christmas tree, but with all these camping elements in here, I think something like this could do really well. So let's go ahead and edit this template and I'm going to show you guys how quickly you can take a pre-made design like this and make it your own with just a few changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is just change the text here. I think I'm going to have it say Merry Campmas and then something like 2024. Always fun to add the year. If I don't like how that looks, we can just get rid of this line of text completely, but I think it could be fun to make it specific to this year. So this is Mary, and then we change that to say can't miss 2024. All right, so that is already looking very cute, but it's not quite Christmassy yet. Yes, we do have it saying Merry Campmas, but I think we want it to be more obviously like this is a Christmas tree. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to click on this design here and then over where it says edit, there's these three dots and I'm just going to click duplicate. Now that just gives me another image to work with and I am going to click edit. And I think I'm just gonna look up a star. Now there's tons of options here. Let's see if we can can find one that kind of goes with this same aesthetic we have going on a little bit more rustic maybe so even like this kind of hand-drawn star I think this could work really well all right so we will mess around with the placement of all of this but for right now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit on this star and for the color right here I think I'm going to keep it this kind of earthen color that the rest of the tree is and already just by adding that star it's giving Christmas and looking super cute now this Mary I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and move it closer to the top. Same with this 2024. I'm going to make it look a little bit bigger. And then the next thing I might do is I think that the yellow is really cute, but I maybe want to change this to be maybe this tan color or possibly red to kind of lean more into Christmas. The yellow and green isn't really giving me Christmas as much as I want. So let's go here and change the color to this earthen brown. Okay, I'm liking how that looks, but I think maybe I want this star to actually be that yellow color. So let's try that. Okay, I'm really liking how this is turning out. Now, one more thing that I might do before this design is ready is I might just resize everything to take up a little bit more of this canvas. For print on demand items, I typically like it to take up as much space as possible. So let's go ahead and make all of this graphics and text just a little bit bigger. All right, that is looking really cute. So now we're going to go ahead and download it. But the one thing I need to do before this is we are going to remove this background and then go over here to where it says download and click download. And once that's ready, we're just going to download that to our computer here by clicking it again. Now, the next thing we need to do that is so important for this process, sometimes even more than actually making the design, is making a really good mock-up for a place like Etsy. So whenever someone searches a product they would like to purchase, they are mainly going by those first thumbnail images that they see when they're scrolling through pages and pages of different items to buy. So if you are sticking with like a really generic mock-up, especially just like the auto-generated ones from a place like Printify, that's not really going to help you compete with everybody else. So you want to make sure that you are really investing a lot of time in mock-ups. Now, one of the things I love about Placeit is they not only have like a whole design library of templates, but they have thousands of different mock-ups that you can use for your designs. Now, a lot of times people are used to buying like each mock-up 
individually, so paying a few dollars per mock-up, which can really add up. And sometimes you use something and it doesn't end up converting well. So I love that place it. It's a subscription model and you just pay a monthly fee and you have access to their entire library. So you can try as many different mock-ups as you want, make as many of them, download them and use them forever. So let's just look through their mock-ups here and see if we can find a really good one, maybe even a holiday specific one. So I'm gonna go ahead and look up Christmas mock-up. Now, especially for holiday themed designs, I find that having holiday themed mock-ups actually helps me convert even better than if I just had a generic like white background or just a generic looking mock-up. So anything we can do to kind of add to the theming really does help. So let's scroll through here and see if we can find some good Christmas sweatshirt mock-ups to use. Now I'm kind of liking this guy right here with the fireplace. It definitely gives kind of that rustic feel, maybe like he's in a cabin or camping or something. So I'm going to click on that and show you how easy it is to make your mock-ups. Now, one thing when I first started on print on demand that I wasn't super familiar with was how to actually make a mock-up and how to make it look like a real piece of clothing and not just I kind of slapped on a design. And so what I love about Place It is it's going to auto format everything to you. So no matter how the model is posed, it's going to make your design actually look natural and not just like it's pasted on top of the image. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my design here from the one we just downloaded. All right, and we will change the background color of this sweatshirt too. But I'm just going to resize that so it takes up a lot of the canvas here. And we're gonna go ahead and crop that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change this sweatshirt color. Now I think this is going to go on the Printify like military green color. So I'm gonna try to get as close to that as possible so it looks like the accurate color. But it's about this color here. So that's looking really good so far. Now, if you'll notice, this is a vertical mock-up image and I used to really stay away from these because I was like, oh, this is not going to look good on Etsy. But I'm gonna show you how to crop it exactly for Etsy's dimensions and in a way that really shows off your item and helps convert sales. So I'm gonna go over here to download and it's going to first process my mock-up. But before downloading it, I'm gonna click the resize here. And then the dimensions you want to use for Etsy are going to be 2700 by 2025. And I like to zoom way in and pretty much crop almost everything except for the garment here. So I'm gonna even cut off more of his face. I find that sometimes faces can be a little bit distracting. So that looks good. And you can really see the full image here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and download that and click to download to my computer. Now, if I go back over to where we made that last mock-up, it's actually gonna give me some suggestions of other ones I might want to use. So I think I might actually include a woman wearing this same sweatshirt too, just so people can kind of see the comparison. All right, so that looks good. And all we'll do is the exact same process. We're gonna download it, crop the image, resize it to Etsy's size, and just I'm gonna zoom in until we cut off a lot of this. Go ahead and download that. Then now we're ready to actually upload our design and mockups to the product we're going to sell. So I'm gonna head over to Printify and start working on the actual sweatshirt that's going to be linked with my Etsy store. Now, if you've never sold on Etsy or you've never sold with Printify, they are my manufacturing partner of choice and it's totally free to use them to sell on Etsy. I'll have a link down below where you can sign up and a full tutorial of how to integrate them you can watch here. But I'm gonna go over to their best sellers and I am looking for just the unisex Gildan sweatshirt. That is going to be a great one for this type of thing. And I am going to click start designing here right on the Printify's choice of manufacturer. Now I'm gonna go ahead for the color and select a variant of, I want that military kind of green color that we were going for. So I'm gonna click on that and then unselect the white color here. And for this one, I specifically made it kind of for one color. You could maybe add a few more, like you could do this on a red and that might look good too. But for right now, I'm just going to stick with one color and I'm gonna go over here to the uploads and add that artwork. All right, the placement looks good. So let's go ahead and preview that. And so see, these are very generic looking mock-ups. So that's why it's really nice that we made our own mock-ups on Placeit because that's going to really help us stand out. So I'm gonna save the product and then I'll just keep these couple mock-ups here so people can really see the true color that's going to be on Printify, but we're gonna manually add those mock-ups we just made. 
screen. So I'm going to save this selection. Now that we're over here, this is where we edit all the information that's going to go on our listing. So I'm going to click on the mock-up library and I am going to click upload here and here we can add our own mock-ups and we can add those two and save those mock-ups here. And then I'm definitely going to want to make this image the primary image. Now all of these mock-ups here, when we publish this, it's going to sync to our Etsy account. And at that point we can actually choose which one of these is going to be the primary mock-up photo. So we're definitely going to want to use this first one we created here. Now the only part left in this process is to actually update our product information. So you would want to change the title to reflect the niches that you were competing in. So at this point it's going to be including keywords like camping, Christmas, holidays, probably things like cabin, van camping. All of those would be great niches to target in our title and description. Now if you've never used Placeit or Printify before, I highly suggest making accounts with them. They both have free options to get started that have a ton of different features. So I'll link all their information down below. But I hope this gives you an idea of how you can really think outside the box for creating holiday themed designs that are way more specific to target a less competitive demographic. Now you can repeat this process over and over with that entire list of holidays or hobbies, careers. And again, you can get that free workshop and cross niching guide by signing up down below. I'll send all the information to your email. And if you're also wanting to get a head start, I'm starting to think about what is going to be some of the biggest trends for 2025. I highly recommend checking out this video next that has some of the top niches that you should be thinking about for this coming year. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.